You are projecting. At least you could be if you use this OBS effect. It creates a realistic projector overlay where I displace the image as I move across the screen, and there's a shadow behind me cast by the projector. It's a great way to make your VTuber presentations or screen shares a bit more immersive. Like you bought an actual projector for stream and you have to stand in front of it. And to show the difference, here's how it looks without the overlay, and here's how it looks with the projector overlay. I'm going to show you how to put it all together in OBS with some plugins. But before we get started, we need to do some prep work. First, create a completely new scene and place your VTuber model in this scene. When we're moving around our scene, we want to move it in VTube Studio. I have VTube Studio open here. I'm moving around like this. I don't want to move it around in OBS. Otherwise, you see the overlays don't match up. And so this extra scene is going to help us a lot with that. And here are the plugins you'll need. You want to start with... Oh, shoot. Excuse me. I'm standing in front of the screen. You want to start with Advanced Mask, Source Clone, composite blur, and retro effects. This plugin makes it super easy to look like you're streaming with really old technology, like a CRT right here. It's just an incredible plugin all around. And now I'm gonna start putting it together in this completely blank scene. So first I'm gonna add myself. I'm going to add a source clone, and I'm gonna add the live 2D scene I set up. Uncheck audio, otherwise your audio is gonna double from the previous scene, and we don't want that here. And click active clone. Click okay. And now you see I have cloned myself back into this scene. I'm gonna rename this. Okay, after renaming that, now I'm going to make a new scene and call it projector image. And this is going to host everything we want to see on the projector. So I'm going to add a window capture because I want to put it in my browser. I'm going to resize it and put it to where I want the projector to be behind me. Go back to my blank scene. I'm going to add another source clone. And I'm going to add in the projector image scene that I just created. Again, uncheck audio, check active clone. Put it behind me, rename the source. It looks like I want to make it a little bigger. Then I'm going to go back here and just resize it a bit. And this is how it looks normally if you're doing a normal window capture, but we want the projector overlay effect. So I'm going to make another scene, call it projector image overlay, and I'm going to, again, clone the projector image scene we just made. And this time I'm going to make it slightly bigger. This is what we're going to cast over our VTuber model. And because we made it slightly bigger and displaced the image a bit, it's going to look like the image is displaced when we move in front of it. So I'm going to go back to the main scene, Add another source clone and go to the projector image overlay and clone the projector image overlay. And this time I want it in front of me. I'm gonna rename the source. And here's when the magic happens. I'm gonna add a filter to this source clone by right clicking it, going to filters, and adding advanced mask, which we just installed. Then for the mask type, I don't want it to be a rectangle. I want it to be a source and I want it to be my live 2D scene. There we go. So you can see in this preview, it's using the location of my VTuber model to mask the overlay source clone. It looks like the projector is projecting on our VTuber model, but it's covering it up completely. So I want to add a color correction and lower the opacity so I can actually see the model underneath. All right, that makes it more transparent. Let me step in front of the screen a bit. So it's more obvious. And we already have our effect like 80% of the way there. We're just gonna add a few more details. All right, so the next thing we wanna add is a shadow. So I'm gonna copy, I'm going to copy the projector image overlay clone we just made, paste it. Looks like this isn't showing up, so I'm going to like re-click this active clone. If your source clones aren't showing up, just open up the properties and click active clone a few times. And this one will clone all the filters we added to it before, but I'm gonna darken this mask completely. So I'm gonna color multiply, go to black. You could also just turn down the gamma, contrast, brightness, anything to just get it, you know, completely black. And now there's a shadow cast on top of us, which is close, but we want it behind us. So I'm gonna move the source clone behind the live 2D scene clone. I'll rename it the projector image shadow. And I'm gonna move it slightly over to the left. I'm also going to add another filter to the shadow, which is the composite blur, so I can soften up the edges just a bit. As you can see here, if I were to zoom in, you can see the edges are a bit more blurry. It looks a bit more blurry. I want it to have a bit more presence, so I'm gonna turn up the opacity a bit. Yeah, actually near 100%. Okay, great. We are actually almost all the way there. I wanna add another thing on top of the overlay. Again, this is the overlay that's gonna be casting the light on top of our VTuber model. So I want to increase the contrast a bit, maybe slightly increase the brightness and gamma. Then I'm going to add a retro effect. I'm going to add a retro effect, scan line, and I'm, I wanna add scan lines on top of this just to make it look like the projector is kind of flickering. So if I, Increase the intensity. 
All right, those scan lines are a little too thin. Those scan lines are a little too thin for my taste, so I'm going to, uh, no, I'm gonna move the period up here. Maybe move the speed up a little more. Just for this demo, I'm gonna make it a little, I'm gonna make it extra obvious, but of course you can do whatever you want on your stream. Awesome, back to the Ridge Racer gameplay. I'm gonna show you one more cool thing because we set up this extra projector image scene. So I'm gonna click studio mode, click projector image, which is gonna let us edit this projector image scene we set up and add new assets to it. So if I drag in my, uh, let's say, profile picture, I can move it around and it gets added to the projector image. So you can start compositing new elements into your projector image because it's in an entirely new scene. Yeah, so I'm gonna add this extra picture of Benjamin Franklin here. And here's the really fun one. I can add a Twitch chat to the projector and overlay it on top of my model. So really with this extra scene, you can build anything into your projector image. One more thing that's a nice detail to the projector effect, but can also be used in other streams is using advanced mask to light the scene. So if I right click my main scene, go to filters, added advanced mask. Uh, it just cropped everything into this rectangle, which I don't want. So I'm gonna change this mask effect to adjustment mask, click adjust brightness. And now it's just making that area brighter. I'm gonna make the area a little bigger to encompass the projector. I wanna make it slightly bigger because when we add feathering, outer feathering, it's gonna shrink the rectangle a little bit. And now I wanna make everything outside the projector darker. I'm gonna turn the minimum brightness down. There we go, there we go. Maybe I can turn the feathering up even more. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's a subtle lighting effect it's that extra level of immersion and you can really see the effect as i like move out of the scene and into the projector all right that's it thanks for following along if you make something with this tag me on twitter or blue sky with a screenshot i'd love to see it and oh my god i forgot the most important part of this entire tutorial holy crap and we're at the end okay i promise you really need to pay attention to this part oh i'll step out of the way here i think this step is pretty self-explanatory really important super important